Okay, here we are on node 2, and it's time to install SQL on this guy as well. So let's make sure that we have, let's go down here, and let's see if we have SQL. No, we don't. It's still connected to the Windows DVD. So let's go to VM, and then to Settings, and let's change this guy to the SQL Media. There we go. And we'll see it switch over here in just a second. Perfect. Double click on it. Okay, now this time for the install, instead of choosing new SQL failover cluster install, we're going to say add a node to a SQL cluster. Of course, we have to go through the rule check like we did on the other side. Now, one of the things you're going to find about adding a node to a cluster is it's much simpler. You don't have to make all of the choices you had before because it's going to read it from the cluster. So you don't have to know all of the stuff you did before. Basically, we're just going to tell it to add it to the cluster and give it the service account passwords and we're off and running. There we are. So far, the only thing I did, again, was bypass the, the product key screen. We'll click OK to accept the license terms. Right, we couldn't search the web for updates. We know about that because we're not on the internet. And it's gonna set up the install files or the setup files. That's gonna take a couple minutes and I'll be right back when that's done. And here we are, it's performing the rule check. We've got the same warnings we did last time. We're fine with those. Click next. The SQL Server instance name that we want to add this to, it's gonna be the default instance, that's just fine. There we are, it's coming up with a cluster network config. There's nothing we can do about this. So let's just go ahead and click next. Service accounts, excellent. This is where we have to enter in our password for our service account. I think I forgot it. There we go. And then this one. Perfect. Click next. Error reporting, just leave it the way it is. Rules checked out. And now we're ready to install the node. This install is much faster, whereas the last one took maybe about 30 minutes. This one will probably only take 10 to 15. I've seen it be really fast before. So I'm going to pause this and I'll come right back when it's done. Okay, here we are. We're finished and we have ourselves an installed SQL Server on Node 2. Now we officially have a good two-node SQL Server cluster. So I don't know about you guys, but this looks like a really good place to take a snapshot of our environment. Let's go ahead and do that. So we've got VM, snapshot, take snapshot, and we'll call this one SQL installed. Take the snapshot. We'll go to Node 1, do the same thing. SQL installed, and also on the DC as well. Now I realize that you don't think that we should do that on the DC because all we did was install SQL on those other nodes, right? But remember, we installed them into a cluster, which means that now we have new AD objects. So it's a good idea to go ahead and do it here too. And SQL installed, take the snapshot, perfect. So now we've got our environment snapshotted and we've got SQL installed, a working SQL cluster. Next, we're going to have a look around some of the cluster objects.